Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about the back face and inverse culling. Okay, here's Nomad. We need a test object, a sphere, and I. Sorry, I have to bring back the the default settings. like this and I validate the object and let's use the split function front vertex off and I split the object in two parts like this And I give it a color. Now the object, um, the inside is green and the outside is green. Okay. And in the display settings here, display settings, there's an option, it's called two-sided. Um, when it's active, the colored back face is also on at the moment and now it's possible to change the color and the opac opacity of the back face. Let's make it visible. Now the color is white and we can bring it to the red. Now the inside is red, outside green. And in the material, material settings it's possible to flip the inside to the outside. That's the last position in the menu inverse culling. Now when it's active the inside is the outside and so on. <laughs> okay and now um, the, also the, the normals switched, I think. Uh, when you mask this object and use the mask function, mask, mask is active on the object, and I give it a shell thickness of one, and I extract the shell, it extracts um, inside with a positive, um, setting of the shell thickness and when you change to inverse culling off and you extract it, it extracts outside. Okay. And the last thing is in the display settings, when you turn off two-sided, now the inside is invisible. And it affects um, all the meshes. Um, when I bring in, in here a box and And I split the box or I trim it. This box is the inside is not visible. Display settings turn on two sided, and now the color is active again. When you turn off colored back face, 
now the green is green inside and the white is white inside and uh, chancel yeah you can play around with it but the invisible function as a like this is um, two-sided off <laughs> yes okay have fun with sculpting ciao